Hallelujah, praise the Lord. First of all, I'd like to give the highest praise and glory and honor to Jesus. Jesus. Um, secondly, I'd like to greet our beloved honorable pastor, Evangelist Wilde Strato Almeida. We cherish and treasure the memories of our beloved assistant pastor, Lena C. Almeida. Um, I'd like to greet all the beloved children, all of our workers, choir members, uh, instrumentalists, all of you, brethren, and good afternoon. Um, I'd like to uh, also greet our birthday celebrants, our March birthdays. Amen. Um, and uh, I believe a, a sister blesses next week. Happy birthday, Sister Amen. Bless. Amen. Um, and a sister, uh, Sister Lynn. Sister Edith. Uh, to our beloved March birthdays that um, I didn't uh, mention. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I'd like to thank our dearest Jesus. Um, for uh, guiding us safely to his holy service today. Uh, I thank our dearest Jesus um, for keeping us safe on the road because like the weather's been uh, unusual. Um, I'd like to thank our dearest Jesus for giving me this opportunity to testify. I thank our dearest Jesus for saving me in this church. Um, I was uh, saved back in this church in 2004. Um, I thank our dearest Jesus for calling me to serve him, even though I'm not worthy. Um, uh, when I was saved in this church, I was a teenager, and it was like my first time that I had attended a church like this. And um, it was just like compared to the other churches that I had attended, we were like, my family was hardcore Catholic, so we were attending the Catholic church. Um, and we had also attended like um, my, my brother-in-law's Christian church, but they were like really different. Um, like the Catholic church service and the Christian church service that we had attended, their services were like really short and um, it just didn't seem like the brethren were like serious in, in serving God. Um, it wasn't until I came to this church that I could see the difference. I could see that dearest Jesus works his miracles in this church. Um, like when I had attended, it was Sunday service and the, the service was like five hours long. Everybody was so like, um, they were so, they were like praising dearest Jesus and they were so like energetic and like full of like a God spirit and like um, praising him. And I came to learn later on and understand that that was because God works um, in our lives in this church. Um, he, he gives all of us a purpose, and I just, I thank our dearest Jesus for calling me to serve him, even though at the time I was just like a teenager and I saw myself as less than dirt. I thank our dearest Jesus for, for seeing me, because um, like as a teenager, I was like really depressed and I was always trying to like do things to like make myself happy. Amen. And like, you know, even though I was like trying different things, I just couldn't feel like I had a purpose, and I just, I thank God for, for, for seeing me and calling me to serve him in this church. Um, I thank God for, like, giving me a purpose in my life. Um, I thank God, um, I, I thank God uh, for, for all of, like, um, the, the trials and the struggles that um, I've faced since um, I've come into this church, you know, it truly, it's such a blessing to be Amen. part of this church. And, you know, we receive so many blessings, but like, you know, we also get trials too, because it's the way that God perfects us. And so I just, I thank God for, for keeping me strong in the faith, um, despite everything I've been through. Um, I thank God because, um, you know, like, um, as I continued to, to serve God, there was like a point in my life where I, I didn't want to attend anymore. And um, uh, I, was, I was too busy like looking at the brethren when I should have been looking to our dearest Jesus. And so that caused me to like, to like backslide and to do the stuff that I was doing before. And um, like, um, around that time, God, like, he tried to call me back into the church. Amen. You know, um, I would get, like, um, I would get, like, uh, Paala Alas. Um, I got into, like, a car accident, but, like, I still didn't want to go back to church. Um, it wasn't until um, that I, uh, 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 that I, 
uh, got married, and then after that, I, I, I got pregnant. And then, like, six weeks into my pregnancy, um, um, uh, I thank God, because uh, it, like, it was, like, one of the biggest struggles in my life. I know, like, some people might see it as, like, a minor thing, but to me, it was really painful because, um, because I had lost my baby, and mm. it was, like, I just fell into, like, the lowest point in my life, and that's when I realized that I had to go back serving our dearest Jesus, and even though it was, like, a struggle for me, and it was, like, it was embarrassing for me to come back to church because I, I had left. I thank God for, for like, giving me, um, like, the strength and just, like, the, the patience to just, like, um, to keep, to, to attend church and to, like, keep going. And I thank our dearest Jesus because, um, like, after a few months, like, I lost my baby in um, September 2013, and uh, the baby was supposed to be born, like, around May 2014. And, like, when it hit May 2014, I, like, remembered that that was when my baby was going to be born. But I thank God because instead of being, like, so sad, I thank God because it was that same month that I found out I was pregnant again. Thank you, dearest Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank our dearest Jesus um, for blessing me with my beloved baby girl and then later on with my beloved baby son. Um, I thank God that they're being used in his holy vineyard. Um, I thank God for all of the, the wisdom and the knowledge that, that he gives them. Um, I thank God because they're both in school now. And I thank God because like the stuff that they learned from school, I try to help them try to incorporate it on on how they can use it for um, God's gl glory in his holy vineyard, hallelujah. Um, I thank our dearest Jesus. Um, I thank our dearest Jesus also because uh, last year, my beloved husband was informed that his job was, his like company was closing here in California and um, they were gonna like lay off hundreds of employees and I thank our dearest Jesus uh, for being there for my beloved husband because out of the hundreds of employees, they were only going to keep like five that they were going to transfer to different plants in California. And I thank God because he was one of them. So I thank God that my beloved husband still has a job. Um, I like to thank God for everything, for all the physical, financial, most of all, spiritual blessings, all the praises, glory and honor belong only to our dearest Jesus. Amen. Praise